Invisible chains are still chains. They hold you back, they confine you, and they prevent you from reaching your full potential. Unseen obstacles are like these invisible chains, quietly lurking in the corners of our life, influencing our decisions, and subtly shaping our destiny. They are the silent saboteurs of our dreams, the unseen enemies of our quest for self-improvement. To conquer them, one must first identify them, then eliminate them. Now let's delve into these unseen chains and understand how to break free. The first chain that binds us, unhealthy relationships. Now let's delve into the shadowy realm of toxic connections that can darken our lives. These relationships, whether they are friendships, romantic ties, or family bonds, have a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. Picture a parasite feeding off your energy, your happiness, your peace. That's what an unhealthy relationship does. It drains you. Consider the friend who constantly belittles your achievements, the partner who manipulates you into feeling guilty for their wrongdoings, or the relative who never misses a chance to remind you of your flaws. These are not mere disagreements or hiccups. They are patterns of toxicity that wear you down over time. It's crucial to recognize these relationships for what they are and take steps to protect your well-being. It's not an easy task, but it's a necessary one. Remember, you deserve relationships that nourish you, not deplete you. The second chain, the internal dialogue of doom. This is the voice that whispers in your ear telling you that you're not good enough, not smart enough, not attractive enough. It's a cunning saboteur that thrives on insecurity and self-doubt. The dangerous part of this negative self-talk is its ability to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Imagine that you're about to give a presentation. The voice in your head tells you that you're going to mess up. You believe it, and as a result, your nerves take over and you stumble through your speech. The prophecy has fulfilled itself. Now consider a different scenario. The voice tells you that you're well prepared and capable. You believe it and you deliver a confident, compelling presentation. The difference is striking. It's time to break free from the chains of negative self-talk. Quiet the negative chatter in your mind and replace it with empowering affirmations. The third chain, the ghost of the past. We often find ourselves shackled by the spectre of our past. We replay old memories like a broken record, dwelling on past mistakes, missed opportunities or regrets. Each time the record scratches, echoing a haunting refrain of what if and if only. Consider the tale of a mountaineer who once slipped and nearly met his end. Instead of learning from the experience and moving forward, he became fixated on that slip. His mind replayed the incident over and over until it became an insurmountable barrier. The mountain he once conquered with confidence now loomed as a symbol of fear and failure. This is the power of the past when we let it rule our present. It can turn mountains into monsters, opportunities into obstacles, but remember we cannot change what has been. We must let go of this ghost, learn from our history, but never let it dictate our present or future. The past is a place of reference, not residence. The fourth chain, the fear of failure. Fear of failure is a shapeshifter. It takes many forms. It's the nagging voice that whispers what ifs in your ear. The tremor that halts your hand from knocking on opportunity's door. It's the phantom that lingers in the shadows of your ambitions, casting doubt on your dreams. Consider the story of Thomas Edison. His journey to inventing the light bulb was paved with a thousand failures. But did he cower? No. Instead, he saw each setback as a stepping stone towards illumination. If he'd let the fear of failure reign, we might still be living in darkness. Or J.K. Rowling, who was rejected 12 times before Harry Potter found a home. Imagine if she had surrendered to the fear of failure. We would have missed out on a world of magic. Embrace failure. Let it be your teacher, not your jailer. Because failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. The fifth chain, the allure of materialism. In our pursuit of happiness, we often find ourselves ensnared in the glistening trap of materialism. We chase after the latest gadgets, the fastest cars, the grandest homes, believing that these tangible trophies will bring us contentment. But let's consider the tale of King Midas, who could turn everything he touched into gold. His overwhelming desire for material wealth ultimately led to his downfall, as he realized too late that gold couldn't satiate his hunger or quench his thirst. 
In the same vein, an excessive focus on material possessions can blind us to the true treasures in life. Love, friendship, experiences, knowledge, it's a cycle of insatiability where the thrill of the new purchase soon fades, leaving behind a void that we try to fill with more possessions. This endless pursuit can lead to dissatisfaction and unhappiness. So let's strive to find fulfillment beyond the material realm. Remember the best things in life aren't things. The sixth chain, the pursuit of perfection. A noble pursuit, one might think, yet it is an insidious trap. This relentless quest for flawlessness can be likened to a hamster in a wheel, eternally running but never reaching its destination. You see, perfection is a mirage, a figment of our imagination, a cruel hoax that keeps us in perpetual dissatisfaction with ourselves. Let's consider the accomplished violinist who, despite her virtuosic performances, is consumed by the elusive note she missed. Or the successful entrepreneur who, instead of savouring his accomplishments, is haunted by the one deal that slipped away. In both instances, the beauty of their achievements is overshadowed by a single imperfection. This constant striving for the unattainable leads to stress, burnout and an inability to appreciate our triumphs. Instead of aiming for perfection, aim for progress. Celebrate each step, however small, towards your goals. And remember, with perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. The seventh chain, the trap of comparison. This silent epidemic seeps into our lives, sometimes so subtly that we fail to recognize its devastating effects. It's an insidious habit, this relentless juxtaposition of our lives with those of others. We pore over their successes, their possessions, their lives, and measure ourselves against them, allowing feelings of inadequacy to take root. Consider the accomplished pianist who, instead of reveling in his own symphony, loses himself in the melody of another. His focus shifts from his own music, his own progress, to that of another's. His self-esteem dwindles and his own growth is stunted. Similarly, the artist who compares her artwork with that of her contemporaries may find herself questioning her own talent. This self-doubt, born of comparison, robs her of the joy of creation. Remember, each one of us is on a unique journey. Our paths, our pace, our milestones differ. Comparison is the thief of joy. Embrace your unique journey. The eighth chain, the demon of procrastination, the sinister force that lurks within us, whispering, there's always tomorrow. It's a sly monster, cunningly robbing us of our today, promising a tomorrow that never comes. Picture this. An aspiring author dreams of writing a bestseller, but each day he puts it off, waiting for the perfect moment. Before he knows it, years have passed, and the book? It remains unwritten, an unrealized dream gathering dust in the corner of his mind. Procrastination, my friends, is a thief of time, stealing our precious moments and leaving us with a bag full of what-ifs and if-onlys. It's a sinister villain, lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce on our ambitions and aspirations, leaving us with a trail of missed opportunities and regrets. But remember this, procrastination isn't invincible. It can be defeated. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. The chains are identified. The path to liberation is clear. We have journeyed together through the labyrinth of life's unseen obstacles, shedding light on the shadows of unhealthy relationships, the insidious whisperings of negative self-talk, and the haunting spectre of the past. Each of these a chain that binds us, each a barrier to our potential. We've navigated the stormy seas of fear of failure, its waves threatening to capsize our dreams. Yet we must remember that failure is but a stepping stone, a lesson to be learned not a life sentence. We've traversed the barren landscape of materialism, where possessions rule over purpose, and the glittering mirage of perfectionism, a pursuit that robs us of the joy found in progress and growth. We've climbed the treacherous slopes of comparison, a mountain that offers no summit, only an endless climb. And finally, we've confronted the silent thief of time, procrastination, a foe that must be vanquished if we are to seize the day and live our lives to the fullest. Each of these elements, these chains, quietly erode at our happiness, our contentment and our growth, but now they are identified, brought into the light. The power to break free from these shackles lies within us. We hold the key. It is only through recognizing and eliminating these obstacles that we can truly embrace the limitless potential that life holds. Break free from these chains and embrace the limitless potential of your life.